Honestly, I shouldn't. Caught up in my feet. Hey guys, my name is Karina and I'm Swatch Queen. Thank you for tuning in. So for today's video, I created this look using this palette right here. The Boudoir Noir ColourPop palette. This is a 12 pan palette with greens, golds, and neutral browns. So if you want to know how I created this look, stay tuned. I'm not sober. Can I come closer? I wanna come over. When you leave me like that, girl, don't do me like that. Ooh, when I think about that, I'll be coming right back on. Girl, don't do me like that no more. Oh, I know you wanted some clothes. Said you wanna move forward. I know we're not done. I'm thinking about our moments. I know I'm not sober. Can I come closer? I wanna come over. When you leave me like that, girl, don't do me like that. Ooh, when I think about that, I'll be coming right back. Okay, the foundation, this one is a neutral 125N. I think it's super red for me and it's really dark for my skin, but the formula, wow, it's impressive. And that pretty fresh concealer, I have to get more colors because this is looking so good. Wow, pretty much blowing me away. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> This blush, this blush has shimmer. I don't mind blush with shimmer. I actually like it. This is pretty. This is definitely pretty. I like the color. I like very muted blushes like this. I love shades like this because you can use it every day. You can also use it for glam. It's versatile. This is a good blush. I recommend this blush. But if you don't like shimmer in your blush, don't get this. <laughs> if you do love shimmer in your blush, in order to show that glitter, you might want to put your blush before your powder so the glitters actually adhere on your skin. It looks so pretty. And blush like you dub it, not blend it. All right, that's so pretty. For my eye base, I'm going to use ColourPop Cream Shadow. This one is in Agave Bloom. This one is from the Sandstone Collection. So this one is very neutral, nude, but it has little specks of silver glitters in it. I don't know if you guys can see the glitters, but it's very subtle. Okay, so pretty. We'll see if it, it creases. Okay, next for our palette, the Boudoir Noir from ColourPop.
Yeah, I'm tongue tied, twisted around your finger like a piece of string. I'm winded, chasing after your ghost is real exhausting. I'm in love, but I don't think it's what I thought it was supposed to be. Love story, no cuts and no glory. How did I get so dizzy? Thinking of you, I don't usually get like this. It's something about you I miss. Could it be we never had that kiss? Well, I don't usually get like this. Get like it like this. Looks like baby poop. <laughs> Next, I'm going to use Morphe M506. I'm gonna put powder under my eyes. This is the Revlon Candid Anti Pollution Setting Powder. This puff is so good. It's from Amazon and it's really affordable. What I love about it, it's right here. It goes right in here under your eyes and it creases your nose. Pretty good. Back to hot toddy. We're gonna go for a super smoky eye. Or could it be a future for you and me? She loves me. I know it's true. Maybe I'm the fool. I'm going back to the JH30. Get desire again. If you guys can hear somebody like growling, <laughs> that's my daughter. I don't have a dog. That's my daughter. She's sabotaging my video. And then if you can hear the garbage truck. Yep, my life. Okay, I'm going to blend the edges. Blending the edges with a desire shade. And then I'm gonna go back to the M506 again. Whatever is left hot toddy here, I'm not gonna pick up anymore. I'm just going to blend. Sometimes I have to go back and pick up more color. Clean it up a little bit. I'm gonna use this brush, JH40. I'm gonna take Hot Toddy again, and then I'm gonna put that under my eyes. With the same brush, I'm going to get this sire again. And then I'm gonna go blend my under eye with this shade. I'm gonna put that lower than Hot Toddy. I'm gonna use the ColourPop Gel Liner. This one is in Swerve. I'm gonna tight line. Mm -hmm. 
ColourPop BFF Mascara, Black on Black. For my lips, I'm going to use this ColourPop Cosmetics Lip Liners. Kind of want something nude. BFF 3. Okay, that's good. And then I'm going to blend it. This is my Luxie 121. And then I'm gonna use Lippy Sticks. This one is in Cookie. I don't have a ColourPop bronzer, so I'm just gonna use Laura Mercier. This one is the Candle Glow Sheer Perfecting Powder. This one is in number six. I'm gonna use this with my JH04 brush. Just gonna bronze a little bit on my forehead. Morphe Brow Setting Gel. For my highlighter, I'm going to use the Soul Body. This is a body highlighter, but I also use it for my face. It's actually very pretty. This is more shimmery and glittery. I'm also going to put this a little bit in the inner corner of my eyes. And then I'm going to use the Lux Lip Oil. I actually love this formula. It is a gloss, but the formula is absolutely beautiful. It feels like it's just water gel, but it's a gloss, a lip gloss that is not sticky, which I prefer. This one is just like water, water gel. It feels like it's just hydrating your lips. It's very comfortable. It's beautiful, shiny, everything you want about a lip gloss. I'm gonna put some false lashes and then I'll be back. All right guys, so this is it. This is it for the look. I hope you guys like it. This is the look that I created from Badur Noir. I honestly think that this palette is really good. The formula is good. The, the mattes blended so well. I didn't get to use all the shades. I only used one, two, just two shadows. I just used two shadows. I can't believe that. It's kind of hard to love this palette since it's not my cup of tea. It's not my liking. If I want a green palette, like this look that I created, I can create this with a child palette. It's not my favorite palette. For the Pretty Fresh foundation and concealer, these blew me away. This one is definitely not my shade. It's too red, very, very red, but I made it work with this concealer. This one is really my color concealer, but the formula is super good. The formula is amazing. 
I can't believe it. I didn't have to set it with powder, which is amazing. But this foundation is, is good. It's full coverage. This concealer is also full coverage. Combining them, very good. I like it. I think I'm gonna get another color for the foundation, my real color. <laughs> the lip gloss, I love this um, lip gloss formula. This one is the Lux Lip Oil. Very surprised. It feels like it's just water gel on my lips. It's not sticky, but when you look at it, it looks like very thick lip gloss, but it's not. It's very good. I actually like it. For the blush, I keep putting on the blush. This is the color. I keep packing it on and for some reason it doesn't show up on my skin. It's only a little bit. This highlighter is absolutely beautiful. This is the body highlighter, shimmering body powder. They call it, it's in warm gold and I used it for my highlight. Look at that highlight. Isn't that beautiful? I <laughs> <That> shine. <laughs> I love using it for my face, but it smells like coconut. I don't know the ingredients. I have to check the ingredients. And if you have sensitive skin, you may want to try this just a little bit on your skin and see if you get reaction because some coconut ingredients can cause breakout. Be careful with that. All right guys, so before I go, I want to remind you about my giveaway. I have an ongoing giveaway. I'm going to give away one ColourPop Hocus Pocus palette. It's the Gather Round Sisters palette. The rules are gonna be in the description box, so check that out. Good luck. All right guys, so that's it for my video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video. If you're not yet subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell for more upcoming videos and I'll see you on my next video. Bye.